All right, so basically what we're going to do today is uh, go over 3D and try to get those questions out of the way. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and do this again on a Word document. I don't think you're able to post uh, paste pictures on this one. Right? All right, you're not able to. But uh, the first two are going to be pictures. So... I'll do this again on that Word document that I was working on last time. For 3D I, uh, so what's gonna happen is the call is basically just where you're using uh, the the procedure that you made. All right. Some people, what they did was they didn't use the procedure twice, but they are going to call it twice. Meaning, for example, I was one of those people who I don't use M square anywhere else, but just right here. But the thing is that my response to my um, to my question. So, yeah, the response to my question is actually the condition that's going to be tested or is involved in the condition that's going to be tested. So I can go ahead and use that either way. All you're going to do is take this and you're going to. Uh, let's go ahead and actually. You know what? So it could show us. Running the program with different ways or with different conditions. I want to go ahead and press clear. Hit the space bar with the different response right here. And I'm going to enter a, uh, a number between 1 and 10. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the same numbers that I used in the video when I recorded it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 6 first and just take that like this. Okay. Uh, I can even go as far as circling where I'm using my condition again this is going to be this different for everybody but that's where I'm certainly I'm showing where I'm using where I'm calling my first uh, my first uh, call to my procedure right and then I can just go ahead and take this and paste it over to the document like that All right the second one it's gonna be a second call with another condition so guess what it's gonna be the same thing except that I am going to Put another number. In this case, let's go with a nine. Take a snip of that too. And again, just circle my block and the condition being tested. Done with three I and three II. Sorry, three D I. Questions on that guys? Three D Sorry, well that was actually just three D I, which is the first call and second call, so let me go ahead and correct that. And then three D I I asks you to describe what condition is being tested by each call to the procedure, conditions tested by the first call. So this one is a text. And you can go ahead and start off with the procedure tested in the first call. Is the user input of a number, in this case, a, in this case, a six? All right, and that's really all that, that, it's, that it's asking. It's not asking anything else. Uh, actually, no, you know what? The parameter, sorry. Is called involves. The user input. 
which in this case is a six and the condition is so if I put a six what condition is going to be tested whether the input is greater than seven which one will it go into if the input is greater than four right so I can go back over here put the condition that is being tested and will result in true is if input is input greater than uh, four. This will cause, well, I guess I don't have to add the other one because that's actually part of the other question. And that's it. Um, guys, I can actually just take this and copy it over. Because the second part of that question is the second condition being tested. But this one is if it's a nine, so the condition that actually makes it true is if it's greater than seven. Everybody's going to have different wording. Again, I mean, I'm going to try my best to kind of but just make sure that, one, it makes sense. You're running it through Grammarly and you're using sense of starters. And the best you can describe it, that's the best you can do, right? And finally, you have the last two questions, I believe, which is the result of the first call and the result of the second call. In this case... The result of my first call, which is when I put a six, makes a triangle and gives me three pieces of information about that triangle. I can even go as far as giving me those three pieces of information that you can see in the video. Uh, so here. Call is two is that right creates a triangle and says I spell says says out said triangle. Yeah. Uh, the result of the second call is the result of the second call do. Nine creates a square. Of the second call, that the sprite creates a square. And says information about said square. That's it. And you're done with all of 3D. Yeah. Uh, now, what I'm going to do very, very quickly, I'm going to add it onto this video because it's we still have a good like five minutes left in it. Uh, is just show you exactly how to do the video that you are going to then rewrite 3A2 with because. 382 involved you describing what was in the video. Right, Ara? So, um, the video is super easy. All you have to do is go ahead and open up PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint, you can open up a blank presentation. And you can go into, I believe, uh, record. Screen recording, there you go.
Anyways, you should. You, it's because I'm already recording on my thing, so um, yours should be available. All right, if it doesn't, just let me know, and it's super easy to get it up to date. Screen recording. It's gonna open up a um, kind of like a little marching app frame, right? Where you'll see the little edges, and just put it around the entire program, and then you're just gonna run it. In my case, I'm gonna run it with the same values that I ran it. Sorry, with the same values that I mentioned in uh, 3D, which would be to press spacebar. The first one was a six. Hit the triangle. I can go ahead and do it again, but this time with a nine. And there you go. That would have been what, maybe a 10 second video? Then you went ahead and recorded it, okay? One thing, whenever you save the recording, do not put your name on it. Just call it project video or anything else that does not have your name on it. Everybody got that? Okay, nothing on this thing should have your name on it. And that is it. You've pretty much done everything. And then it'll be time to just look over it and upload to um, the AP Classroom. And this will be done by Friday. So make sure you have it done so that your grade can reflect that. No questions?